there. If you've ever gone by a Chinese restaurant and wondered what smells so good, today's recipe for citrus ginger honey glazed salmon with whole grain rice and sugar snap peas is for you. It's a delicious Asian inspired dish that is so simple. It takes less time to make than it would for you to order takeout. Plus, this recipe is easier on the wallet and better for your heart too. So to start, I'll preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Here we are. And I will start the Asian flavored marinade for the salmon. So to this large bowl, I'm going to add the following ingredients. One teaspoon of minced garlic, which is about one minced garlic clove. Two teaspoons of vegetable oil, or you can use canola if you prefer. One teaspoon of honey. I'm going to use my spoon to get this out. I want to get all that goodness out. There we are. Two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice or juice from a bottle. And I have that right here. And one ingredient that I use occasionally and very sparingly to control the amount of sodium in the recipe is low sodium soy sauce, which I have right here. Although low sodium soy sauce has less sodium than soy sauce labeled reduced or less sodium, it is not sodium free. I need two teaspoons for the marinade. Okay, I'm gonna clear this out. A few more ingredients, including a half a teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. I use a spoon to remove the outside peel by scraping it like this. Like so. Then, I'm gonna grate it on a microplane sester like this. And I need a half a teaspoon and I add it to the marinade. You can also mince it up finely with a knife if you don't have a grater like I do. Very well. Last, I need two tablespoons of fresh basil. Now, the easiest way to chop fresh herbs that have large leaves like this is to stack the leaves on top of each other, then roll them up, and I'm gonna show you how. You stack them together on top of each other, then roll them tightly. Then thin, sli thin slice all the way. I'm gonna get them all. Okay, cutting herbs into thin ribbons like this is called chiffonade. We need about two tablespoons of chiffonade or chopped basil. and give everything a good stir. Want to mesh all those flavors. Mmm, smells good. Okay, now let's add these four beautiful four ounce fillets of salmon. I'm trying to make space for all of them so they all get the goodness of the marinade. And we're gonna use a spoon and spoon the marinade over the fish so it's completely covered. Gets a little tricky, but try to get it all over the fish. Very well, then just pop the whole bowl into the refrigerator to marinate for about 10 minutes. And speaking of fish, let's talk about some of the reasons the American Heart Association recommends that we eat at least two, three and a half ounce servings of fish every week. Preferably fatty fish, such as salmon, trout, mackerel, sardines, and herring. Fatty fish contain a type of fat known as omega-3 fatty acids that are very good for our hearts. And there's more good news. Some of the fish choices that are best for the planet are also some of the most affordable like canned sardines, line-caught canned tuna, 
canned herring, and many frozen fish, like frozen tilapia, lake trout, and frozen Atlantic pollock, and also fresh and canned shellfish, like clams and mussels. Choose canned fish with the least amount of sodium you can find at your store. So go fishing in the canned food section or frozen food section on your next supermarket trip. Now, while our fish is marinating, let's cook some rice. Brown rice is an excellent way to get more fiber-rich whole grains into your meal routine. Brown rice is a delicious, nutty-tasting alternative to white rice, and brown rice contains 3 grams of fiber per serving, compared to 0 grams of fiber in white rice. If you think you or your family may turn up their noses at a plate of brown rice, prepare a pot of half white and half brown rice until everyone gets used to the fiber-rich whole grain goodness. To cook, just follow the instructions on the package for cooking half a cup of brown rice. So, the salmon has finished marinating, and now I'm going to assemble some aluminum foil packets for cooking the fish and the sugar snap piece. I like making these packets to cook fish because the fish comes out extra moist and tender. And the bonus is that I can cook a veggie right along with the fish without using extra pots or pans. So, here I have eight pieces of aluminum foil and I'm gonna put them side by side when I'm assembling. Now, using a spatula, I'm going to remove one salmon fillet from the marinade and place it onto the foil. Now, I'm gonna do all four in a little bit. I'm gonna start with one and show you. Once I'm done with putting all of the fillets onto the foil, I'm gonna discard the marinade. Now, I have 16 slices right here of lemon, and I'm gonna put two slices on top of each fillet. Then I'm gonna put two slices beneath each fillet. There we go. And here is two cups of sugar snap peas, and I'm going to arrange half a cup of the snap peas next to each fish fillet. About so. Okay, now I'll take the other piece of foil, and I'm gonna cover each salmon and pea packet and tightly fold. I'm gonna do each side, fold tightly. What this is going to do is it's going to create a tightly sealed steaming pouch. Now, once I'm done with all four packets, I'm going to place them onto a baking sheet and I'm going to place them into the 450 degree oven. I'm going to bake this for about 12 minutes. I've just removed the baking sheet containing the fish packets from the oven, and now I'm going to show you how to cut open each packet. First, with a knife, cut a hole away from you to let the steam out so it doesn't burn you. Now I can open it. And be careful because it's a little hot. Mmm, this really smells delicious. Here we are. Then I'm gonna take my cooked brown rice and place one quarter of it onto my plate and slide the contents of my packet onto it. How about that? It's a little hot, so be careful. There we go. Mmm. You see how beautiful this looks? And it smells terrific. It smells even better than the aromas coming from a restaurant. So there you go. A delicious, heart-healthy, and beautifully colored meal that comes together in just 30 minutes. Enjoy your Asian feast of citrus, ginger, honey-glazed salmon. Bye for now.